Good morning, my lovelies. So, can you believe that this is my fourth day hair? <laughs> I am so lazy when it comes to washing my hair because... Um, am I recording? Am I? Yes, I am. Because you know how long it takes to style my hair after I've washed it, so I always put it off as long as I can. So yesterday, <laughs> I curled it. I just gave myself like relaxed curls. I slept on it, and I think it looks okay today. I can put it up as well. And it's Sunday, so I don't want to wash my hair. I'm going to go out with Louis, it's really, really windy. It's been windy for a few days. So, it's no point. But yeah, it doesn't look too bad, does it? <laughs> for fourth day. Okay, I've got a new eyeshadow palette that Alter Ego sent me again. You know, I got not long ago that really, they looked like Easter eggs. The really colorful one. I never did any, um, videos with it because it's not something that I would use, you know, those really pastel colours uh, for children, I would say. You can use like an accent out of that, but this one is called Wild Wood and very appropriate name. I don't know if this is a dupe for anything, probably is, but appropriate name, very woody colors you know warm browns terracottas greens khakis so what i'm going to do is do my usual and put a bronzer on my eyelids looking a bit pale tanning self tanning season is coming isn't it and i'm dreading it it's such a pain this self tanning but i have to because First of all, I don't tan easily. Second of all, I don't want to lie in the sun. So I get some sun when I'm out, you know, in short sleeve t-shirts or whatever, but I don't actually lie in the sun to sunbathe. I do it when I'm on holiday in a hot country, but I still can't lie in the sun for long, don't like it anymore. Used to when I was younger, but now we know how evil sun is. Well, it's not evil, we need it to live, but you mustn't burn, basically. That's the most important thing. You mustn't hide from the sun because you need your vitamin D. Very, very important. The most important thing is not to let yourself get burned. That's all. Oh, let me show you this. Isn't it beautiful? You know, I have a thing about nightwear, like PJs. I like my PJs to look nice. And I have all sorts of gowns. <clears throat> and this one, this one is from Velvet Thread London. So these are from London. And um, they just sell those kimonos. They do this color. Uh, pink and what was the other one I think it might, might have been cream these are all one size so they fit people from apparently from size 8 to 16 or something like that it is made out of it's not silk it's not satin is it Poly polyester ch charmeuse is that how you pronounce it it's really substantial it's not flimsy even the tie you know normally they are really flimsy and thin this is really substantial it's beautifully made and i love it i love it that it's very long i'm five i will stand up in a minute um i'm five foot five and it's right to my ankles it has um and inside the ties as well i didn't do them up maybe i shouldn't because my flash you <laughs> um but i love the pattern on it it's just so so beautiful i feel so special wearing it so let me get up can you see me how 
if you can see me. You see, it's right down to my ankles. It has pockets as well. And this is the back. It's just gorgeous. Oh, and um, they they have gifted it to me, and they've given me. 10% discount for you so if you want to buy it I will leave you the link in a in the description box I love finding these little companies I, I presume they are little because that's that's the only thing they sell right now on this website and then you know having all the same things that everybody else has from the big big stores you know so and I also I am really love supporting smaller businesses because the big conglomerates they will do well whatever but it's the small businesses that really need supporting so yes i love this and i love this color i'm so glad i chose this one the pink was um like a muted well they they are beautiful i think they all have the same um flowers on it just the background is different color Yes. Okay. Oh, look at this. I bought a pair of earrings from Amazon. Talking about big conglomerates. <laughs> these are so cute. I oh, I've got a lot of like bigger big earrings, and I always want something the shows, but it's a bit smaller. Cute. Yeah, I really like them. Okay, what am I doing? Mascara. So, I have a, I don't know if you can see, a scar. It looks like a scar. You know the bed bed crease from your pillow honestly i don't know how i sleep at night i sometimes wake up in the middle of the night thinking my arms have fallen off because i can't feel them i often sleep with my arms above my head and then they go numb so i don't know but i always get crease on that side of my face no sometimes i get it on this one. Oh, and today i have the rare beauty uh, blush enjoy the peachy one love those blushes they are also very good you know if you have a if you have one of the lighter ones because this one is one of the lighter ones if you have a mud blush you can put the matte blush on and use this just very lightly on the top of it, almost as a highlighter. So you can use them, use them that way as well. So later on, I will be taking Louis out by myself for a long walk because Paul is going to a car show, the GTR car show. So I'm on my own all afternoon, which is nice. I don't really want to take my robe off. It's so nice. <laughs> right, what lipstick shall I use? Let's use the new Charlotte Tilbury. Pillow talk. I don't normally put lipstick on if I'm staying at home but because they are quite new I want to use them okay did I ever show you this at the Huda Fall Filler it's um i think it's like a plumping gloss this one doesn't sting much but it's a lovely i think i've shown it to you yes i did this one is something pink baby 
I can see. With this one, you need to apply it sparingly. Okay, I am ready for the day. Well, I have to get dressed, obviously, but I want to stay in this robe. <laughs> Okay, my lovelies, I see you later. My Zara haul just arrived. I can't leave that Zara alone. I'm determined to get something that I really love. Um, I bought a couple of pairs of shoes. I haven't even opened the other ones. I don't even know what they are like. But I've opened these and I love them. I hate it that they do this to the shoes, honestly. I think you can actually without cutting it off I haven't tried them on yet I think you can separate them but it's not very easy so annoying oh damn it they have like a clip so here they are the toe is not square not pointy just right what I thought this will be good for so for example when the weather is I suppose like now that it's not summer yet but it's not cold that you don't need to wear boots anymore these because the hill is nice height is not too high would be good with something like wide leg trousers that are a bit long that i can wear with flat shoes or my boot cut jeans so i usually wear them with that color boots like ankle boots but when it's too warm for boots i could wear wear these with them i love the neutral color really really like them yeah they are really comfy and not not too high so i will keep those definitely let's see the other pair i think the other pair is for summer gold pair they are gold like a pale gold So I wear a lot of gold or pale silver in the summer because this goes with everything. But look at this heel. It's got this funky heel. I'm not sure I like it. it. Looks really weird. Why couldn't they just put a normal kitten heel on it? And this gold is different to this. But I have to try them on and see. Because, you know, you can't really see the heel that much. But this is so weird. Look at it. Like, they've just stuck something on it. But I really love this colour gold. See, so don't like that gold. But I like this pale, muted gold. Yeah, not sure about this. I will have to put them on, see in the mirror if that heel really annoys me. Such a shame, they would be so nice without that stupid heel. Okay, and the rest I think is just t-shirts. I'm obsessed with white t-shirts. I have so many and you know, after you've washed them many times and or you spill something on it, uh, you need lots of them. So, hmm. This one, I remember said that it was small fitting, so I bought large. 
but I don't know if I need it large. It looks a bit big. I like this one, it's got um, like cup sleeves. So it's nothing that exciting really, but you can never have enough white t-shirts. Oh, I obviously bought another bodysuit. This is a bit thicker. Why did I buy another bodysuit? I have to. I probably like the neckline because it's like a boat neckline. So we will see. And and this is just a ripped t-shirt. Again said it was small, so I bought large, but it looks like I probably could have medium. And this one looks a bit short actually. I oh, will see, I will have to try it. So yeah, that's all I bought, not that exciting, just some t-shirts. I really like these shoes. I definitely will get a lot of wear out of those. And the gold ones, such a shame about that stupid heel. But maybe it will look good when I look, look in the mirror, we will see. Right, just in case you wanna know what I'm wearing today, this fluffy cardigan is one of those, remember I bought it from a brand Ali, so this is all sold out, that was ages ago. This choker is from Miss Summer London and my earrings are by Caroline Brooke, my sister-in-law. And that's it really, I'm not, um, and this t-shirt, oh I love this t-shirt, but it's so old, this is, um, this was just from Amazon and they don't do them anymore. It's very fine, finely ribbed and it's got bald neck. I love this t-shirt. Okay, I'm going to go and try these silly gold shoes and see if I like them. Hello my lovelies. So I'm going window shopping, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully I won't buy anything. So I was going to make a video today and go to the post office to retain the ugly shoes. <laughs> those shoes from Zara I don't like them um, but I woke up in quite good mood and then I thought I don't really feel like making a video I've been making videos constantly because I'm trying to pre-record some for when I'm in hospital and recovering so I thought I go shopping and uh, so I will show you what I'm wearing because I'm wearing the other Zara shoes which I really like so I am wearing the other stories wool blazer. This honestly has been like the best buy this year. It's very warm. It's just like a wool coat, but it's short and it looks like a blazer. Well, it is a blazer. It's very warm. That's why I'm only wearing t-shirt underneath. This scarf I bought in TK Maxx. And my jeans are from Massimo Duty. Remember, I bought them last year in Spain. And here are the shoes. I think they look really good with jeans. Right, don't mind my pasty legs. But that's what they look like. They are really comfortable. I hope this strap doesn't rub me, you know, when your feet start swelling or sweating. So, yes, that's what I'm wearing. I will later maybe speak to you in the car right um i changed because before i went out i um went out in my back garden and it was quite warm and that wool jacket is quite warm it's that funny weather you know that is too too hot for for a jacket and too cold for just the top so i just wore these this thin cashmere jumper what a waste of time why do I do this to myself <laughs> honestly I spent two and a half hours and I've got bananas <laughs> even the bananas were ugly I just picked up the last few bananas that they had so I tried lots of things on didn't like anything and what I liked they didn't have in my size and it always the story so I don't know why I bother going to shops um, I popped into Max and Spencer's and um, I saw in the quite nice just a drawstring linen blend trousers uh, but they didn't have my size I, I tried 
a size bigger and I really like them but they didn't have my size and the shoes why are the shoes so ugly look at these ones I mean who wants to wear shoes like that right I'm probably offending someone <laughs> because some of you probably like them um, I'm sure they're comfortable but they're ugly now my shoes the Zara shoes very comfortable so I walked for two and a half hours in them the only thing is that strap at the top rubs a bit but it's okay now it rubbed a bit earlier but I think it's not that it's uncomfortable it's that you can't help you know you get the friction while you walk so hopefully I won't have a blister there oh I bought a couple of things in in Marks and Spencer's, I bought a bra and knickers. These are they from the boutique. And this, this is wireless. It just has, you know, almost like a sports bra band. I tried it on. Remember last time when I was looking for bras and it was okay. It's not, um, it's not something maybe that I would wear out, but it's nice and comfy for the home. So I got, I bought this I didn't have to try it because I tried it before okay I just wanted to say I am so lucky to have you you cannot imagine you are just so so sweet and helpful after my last vlog when I told you I'm going to have my eyes done you were so supportive and so many of you they've had it done told me not to worry that you are so happy that you had it done and that makes me feel so much better because i've been honestly every day i'm thinking about it and did i do the right thing or not and um and another thing i thought i was quite a good communicator but maybe i'm not or you are just very bad students and don't listen properly so first of all a lot of you were asking me if i'm going to have the upper lids done as well and yes i am what i was saying that i probably wouldn't wouldn't have made this decision right now if not my lower lids that's what really pushed me because yeah i want to have my hooded eyes done but I can hide them with makeup right but I can't hide the under eyes so that's what I meant that this pushed me to book it now my eyes look really good today the the swelling I did um, I did roll it with my jade roller um, and that helps with the swelling but you know you can't do anything to the skin the skin is still loose um yes yeah, so you are just so lovely thank you so much i didn't get any horrible comments and judgments so that was nice i wanted to read you something i want i won't say who who wrote it because because i don't know if she would want to have that oh that's it that was another thing again you were going don't stop doing videos don't stop i never said i would stop doing videos i just moan like i do that sometimes i feel disheartened and i feel like maybe i should stop doing this type of videos or this type of videos but i've never ever said i'm not doing youtube anymore uh, so i just moan about it i have a day like that I feel disheartened and that's what I'm on about of course I'm not gonna stop doing these videos they might not be as frequent because if I have no um, idea or inclination doing a makeup video I won't but because of that one of you left me this message and I just thought it almost made me cry it was such a beautiful quote to the world you might be one person but to one person you might be the world that really choked me up um, 
not that I think, you know, I am so inspirational and such a fantastic person that I make your life better. But I do get um, comments sometimes that I've helped someone or made someone feel better. So this quote really, really touched me. So thank you. That was so lovely. You are the best. Anyway, I am starving. I've got a headache, probably because I'm starving. And I haven't had coffee today. So that's giving me a headache because I'm addicted, I suppose. So I'm going to go home, have coffee and then have something to eat. And I see if I can order these um, linen trousers online. Honestly, I'm not going shopping ever again. I might as well order everything online. I know it's a pain because then you have to send things back, but it's getting so much easier to send things back. I can even, for example, with Zara, um, I just go on to my website, log in, say what I want returned, is by post office so they send me a a label but I don't even have to go to the post office because then I can go onto post office website and ask them to come and pick it up so it's really easy these days I love going shopping with Paul Paul is really good to shop with because well he likes shopping and he's very patient because he buys things really quickly. He just looks at something, he might try it on, he might not, and pays for it. But I try things and I can never make any decisions, so I'm there forever. And also then we go for lunch or we have sit down and have coffee. I don't like shopping so much with friends, with other women, because I'm resentful when they want to go and try things for ages I just want to try my own things <laughs> one of my friends we good to go together because we never um, spend too much time really shopping we're more, we're more like window shop um, so that's fine but if it was actual shopping trip I'd rather do it on my own or with Paul <laughs> okay I'm going home now Come on. Good morning, my lovelies. Is it morning? Yeah, it is still morning. So, um, it's Friday today and I've just dropped Louis off for his haircut, for his spring haircut. I've taken him for a quick walk. I always do. And next week he's going for his procedure. It's a beautiful day. Look, I've got no coat on, no jacket. It's really warm and sunny. It's so funny, I think we are so desperate here in the UK for nice weather. While I was driving here, I saw so many people wearing shorts and it's only like 17 degrees, so it's not hot. Uh, I saw people in shorts, I saw a girl in basically hot pants. <laughs> it's really funny. I'm wearing um, that H&M sweatshirt is so lovely, I love it. And today on my eyes, I was playing this morning. Uh, so you know when I did this um, makeup tutorial for winged matte eyeshadow and I did it with the Natasha Denona palette. Well, this one is more of a purpley look. This one is done with Sigma, the Nine Pan palette in hay Hazy. Yeah, I'm sure it's hazy. Um, I love Sigma palettes. I have so many and you know when you're trying new things all the time you forget what you've got. I have to get them out for, you know, they are not, they are very afford affordable but their quality is really good. And oh yeah, and you know this palette that I got from Alter Ego, did I show it to you in this, in this vlog? I can't remember now. Um, 
I've realized now that it is a dupe for Natasha Denona, the Yaka palette. And I don't think I'm going to be doing tutorials with it. Again, they are great quality, but the colors are just not me. That's why I never bought the Yaka palette. Um, I tried it and it just looked muddy. You know, it has all these yellows and, and pastel, pastel greens it's just not not my color so it's pointless me um doing a tutorial to be honest i don't know who liked that palette the natasha denona as well the yaka palette it's i suppose someone with the dark skin dark skin tones probably would like it but i think on someone light like me it just looks muddy right i'm going to go home and that's all for this week. I hope you have a wonderful week. Thank you so much for watching and stay fabulous. Bye.